determination means to decouple intention from emotion sometimes we feel that i don't have enough determination and sometimes we almost treat determination as some kind of genetic gift some people have it some people don't have it but determination is not something mystical or illusory the essence of determination is the capacity to create a distance between emotion and action emotion and primarily intention which will lead to action so consider for example fasting and normally whenever we feel hunger the hunger is a emo- sensation that comes in our body then that comes out as emotion in our mind i want to eat something i feel like eating and then that leads to the intention i want to eat and then i eat so there is perception from there there is emotion there is intention and there is action now all of us at different times for different durations we are capable of fasting when we fast what do we do essentially we feel hunger but we resolve i will not eat at that time and if, and although we feel like eating we don't eat so normally that emotion leads to a particular action normally the emotion of hunger leads to the action of eating but in the case of fasting what we do is we decouple the emotion from the action i feel the emotion of hunger but i decide i will not eat and i know i don't eat now this same principle applies in whichever activity we want to be determined about what, what determination essentially means we may sometimes not feel like doing something we may feel like doing something which is the opposite of what normally is to be done but if we let that feeling let that emotion impel us to a particular action to the corresponding action only then we will not be acting with determination but if you can decouple that that emotion yeah, i feel, i don't feel like doing this but this is important for me therefore i will do it then that action if we persevere in that with our intention then that is determination so <clears throat> when we <clears throat> krishna talks about determination in the 18th chapter of the bhagavad gita then he talks about determination in the three modes and then says drutyayaya dharyate mana pranendriya kriya yogena vivicharenya dhruti sapath satvike so he says in 18.33 in the bhagavad gita that drutyayaya dharyate that determination by which mana pranendriya kriya the mind the senses their motions the activity that impels from that <coughs> yogain avivicharinya by the practice of yoga one makes them undeviated one keeps fixed dhati sapartha satviki that is de- determination in the mode of goodness that means the mind and senses will generate certain perceptions and emotions within us which will make us feel like doing a particular thing and if we don't do that we are capable of resisting those emotions and persevering in uh, the right course of action that we have determined to do then that is an expression of our determination so if we do this internal homework in understanding what actually sabotages our determination it is the emotion coming in the way inside us when we identify with that when we give into that then we lose our determination but if we have the capacity that whatever the perception the emotion may be there we have the capacity to turn away from it and how can one do that yogain avicharanya by the steady practice of yoga the best yoga that bhagavad gita recommends is bhakti yoga yogina vai sarvesha madgate nantaratmana krishna says the topmost yogi in 6.40 verse 7 is the one who fixes his mind on him fixes their mind on him such yogis by their steady practice of yoga by their fixed absorption in krishna by their deep connection with krishna they are able to Uh, they are able to decouple their emotions from their intention and action and that this is how they become determined and similarly when we focus on krishna when we stick focus on connecting with krishna then whatever emotions come if we find them disconnecting us from krishna we can distance ourselves from them we can by focusing on krishna say no to them and thus we can enhance our determination thank you hare krishna